In this video, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of the Open Goal Crossing the Line documentary premiere at Cineworld at Silverburn in Glasgow. Firstly, I just want to say like congratulations not only to the people that you see on screen in Open Goal's videos, but also everybody behind the scenes and particularly the people who made this documentary series come to life. I've absolutely loved the series. It's genuinely been a revelation for Scottish football in a world where there isn't a huge amount of innovation in Scottish football. I think a lot of clubs, a lot of leagues are very stuck in their ways. There are some fantastic clubs out there, obviously, some fast fantastic leagues and competitions. I just thought it was amazing to see a company as big and well known as Open Goal put so much on the line in terms of their reputation and in terms of other things as well to actually put themselves out there and to take control of a club basically in terms of the management and in terms of like the media side of things for a whole season fair play to them it isn't easy to um to do that in any league let alone the lowland league where there's already loads of talking points there's already loads of good clubs in there yeah a fantastic night um really really proud of them and all the guys let's see what Cy ferry had to say as well as some as well as some of the fans who came to watch the screening I, i'm looking forward to it i think the, i think the documentaries event done really well anyone that i meet in the street kind of very complimentary about it and um, Again, there's also the other side of it. You've got the fear because you act like a lunatic most of the time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and also my face in HD up on that big screen because the last episode it did not look pretty. I think that was kind of the height of the stress for me. I think it was around about the time that we knew it wasn't maybe going to happen next year, um, mm -hmm. and I wasn't sleeping a lot. So the fact that uh, if it is going to be filmed, that my big spotty face is going to be up there with stress lines around my face, I'm not looking forward to watching that. But actually. I actually enjoyed the documentaries more than I thought I would. I mm -hmm. thought I would get the fear about watching them, but it's good to kind of watch yourself back and see where you can improve. So, last one, get through it uh, and try and enjoy it. Uh. And what can you tell me about towards the back end of the season that maybe people won't see in the documentary or won't have heard about elsewhere? Is there anything that you can share about sort of maybe what went wrong? Well, we, we, we really were kind of humming and hawing about whether we were going to do it again. Um, and we had kind of three or four meetings, and, and at one stage we actually did think that we were going to go again, but. We just kind of had one last kind of sit down and just thought in the grand scheme of things it would be too much time, effort and money, okay. to be honest with you. And too much I gamble, yeah. relying on kind of gate money and I, I went through it before and, and sponsorship because so many, so much stuff went wrong, sorry, yeah. in, in terms of those things last year. So, um, but we also thought that the podcast was kind of taking a wee bit of a back seat, which yeah. isn't right because that's kind of what, that's what, what, what we are. So we just kind of came to a decision that, no, 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 this is... But again, I think Selene, we was desperate to do it again. I wanted to do it again. You know, there was a big, big um, pull on the heartstrings, uh, especially because we, we got on so well with the boys as well. Yeah. And I we thought I'd done another year with them and we, we did think we could improve. Uh, next year, I, I think the foundations were there, but ultimately when it came down to it, probably the, the most wise decision was to, to kind of wrap it there. And so you've obviously done shows at the Hydro before, I've only ever spoken to you at football matches. What's today like? Is it? Are you, are you nervous for people turning up? Obviously you've said about watching yourself on screen. Like, oh, No, I'm not nervous about people. I enjoy, I enjoy speaking to people, okay. I enjoy meeting people. And obviously everyone that's coming here will probably be an open goal fan, so not to sound too cheesy, but they've kind of put us where we are in mm -hmm. terms of watching the podcast and giving us a, a full support. So I enjoy chatting to them and giving them a wee bit of time back because they've gave us so much, obviously. So I enjoy these things like the Hydro is a, a massive buzz for me. I get more nervous about playing Dalbeaty staff than I do about the Hydro because obviously football is just a different type of passion for me than, yep. than what this is. This is enjoyment for me. I, I, I love doing this where you can't really enjoy football because you're so passionate about it. So this is a wee relief for me. I, I enjoy doing it. And so final question, just touched on the football there. You are obviously going to be up the road. We're not far from East Kilbride right now yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for the screening tonight. So you're the assistant manager at East Kilbride for next season with uh, Mick Kennedy, who was at Darvel last season. What did you learn from your time at Open Goal Broomhill that will help you to be the assistant next season? Uh, what did I learn through my time at Broomhill that will help me be an assistant? To leave the manager up to Mick. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I... I, I do you know what, I've actually got a real love back for coaching um, because even that last year, because I had so much other stuff going on outside of the coaching, I, I didn't even get a chance to actually enjoy coaching the players. Um, I think uh, you'll see in the episode tonight, I think I said to the, the boys, I ended up taking my frustrations out on the wrong people, which are the players, when there was other things that were frustrating us. Slaney. <laughs> Definitely yeah. Slaney, always Slaney. No, he was a real... Honestly, he was a godsend, especially the kind of later stages. He, he seemed to lighten the mood a little bit. He did, he was times. brilliant. He yeah. was brilliant. Yeah. I, I couldn't speak highly enough of him how, uh, in, the, in his role uh, within the football team. And he, 
both both of us are devs because we actually enjoyed really enjoyed working. It was sticky patches, of yep. course, but once we got through that, uh, we really enjoyed working with each other. So up at East Cobb Bride now, we've got my back for coaching. Uh, Mike's a great guy to work for. Um, he just dips in and out, but he kind of leaves the coaching up to me, which uh, which is great. And then he handles kind of the player side, Amazing. which uh, is a relief for me because. Um, that, that was a big kind of weight on my shoulders last year, so uh, back to join football again. Nice to meet you boys. So do you all watch the Open Goal YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What have you thought about what they tried to do with Open Goal Broomhill last it's, season? It's just been like really good and that and then obviously it didn't really work out at the end, but it's, they had a good attempt and they brought up like yeah. Open Goal from where they were last season. Yeah, yeah. And brought like loads of old, like, like, old players in and I think they done well. Yeah, fair play to them for giving yeah. it a crack in the lower league. Do you watch much lower league football or? Uh, well, yeah. our local team EKFC plays like in the same league. Oh, so, so you support e East Kilbride? Yeah. And so Cy Ferry's going to be there? Assistant manager yeah, uh -huh. this coming season as well, yeah. so you must I, be excited for him that. and Matt Kennedy yep. will be good. Darvel's ex manager. I, I yep. KFC getting promoted now. Hopefully, yeah. I keep saying it in my predictions uh -huh. every year. I'm like, East Kilbride, they're going up this year. You reckon it will happen this year, yeah? yeah. We are inside the screening room. We're waiting for a few more people to come, I think, um, before it all starts. But what have you thought about the series so far? I thought it's been brilliant. Uh, I've been a massive fan of Omgo, uh, watched all the podcasts and stuff, been to both the Hydros, uh, been to yeah. SWG3 as well. So you see them kind of talk about football all the time and then take on a show is, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I kind of followed it, kind of quite yeah. religious. Me and a few friends watched it as well. So uh, it's been yeah, good. Me I, too. I've um, really got into this series, like the documentary series. Uh, it's, it's been, been brilliant, so good. Man. I think it's something that you'd see from like a big team on Amazon Prime no, or Netflix, course, but it's for but a lower league Scottish team. Exactly, yeah. I, and I've been to a few of the, I've managed to go to one of the games just before Christmas Eve yep. as well, so yep. um, it's a good experience, you know what I mean? Because usually you're used to, well, maybe in a Rangers fan, I'm used to like, kind of 50,000 yep. like, kind of every week yep. and stuff like that, so to go where it's only you and a couple of hundred yeah. people is, is quite surreal and kind of makes you do you think that um, it gave more eyeballs to the Lowland League? Though? Absolutely, I because like obviously, as I said, don't like one of the podcasts, and yeah. I was in the series. Like the amount of teams, like just got like a lot of a lot of um, media for it. Yes, was of course. was massive. Do you know what yeah, I mean? So play to him, some yeah. teams you don't even think of, and like some people yeah. just kind of doing uh, still doing part time jobs and then kind of working yeah. full, full time. So it's gave a lot of praise to the players as well. Do you know what I mean? When I first went to an Open Goal Broomhill game, I was actually a little bit nervous just being another. YouTuber there having a YouTube channel. I didn't know if they'd like welcome me quite like they did, but I just again want to say thanks to them and thanks to the YouTube community in Scotland. We have an amazing community within Scottish football, I think, um, when it comes to like social media and stuff. And there were some people there yesterday who you will see who you have seen on my videos before. Sharp Div was there, Bobby was there. I know that everybody knows Bobby, um, as well as like Conroy, who's coming up in the video later, who actually worked. Um, in the social media department of Open Gold Broom Hill last season. So, um, yeah, some fantastic characters there um, who have always been really welcoming to me. But again, Sai also touched on the fact that they wouldn't be where they are without their fans. And it was so good to see so many of them actually come out and support Open Gold. And what was a lovely sunny day outside, they came and sat in the cinema to watch the premiere of the final episode of the documentary series. Now, I don't obviously want to show you too much of the actual screening itself. You're going to have to wait till the documentary actually comes out. So go and subscribe to open goal if you aren't already but it was such a great insight into the life of a Lowland League club the final episode did kind of wrap up and if you have seen it you'll know what I'm talking about um, it did wrap up how um, it sort of ended I think you're all aware of the story most people will be aware of like the guy's involvement and sort of how it came to be but um, yeah there was a bit of a downturn in results I think it's fair to say towards the back end of the season few injuries few suspensions at bad times a couple of like key losses at bad moments where had they have turned those games around or maybe got a point or three um, then the season would have panned out completely differently but um, yeah just fantastic to see everybody there and the people that made the documentary um, yeah just a hats off to them particularly Paul Lawwell um, who directed it as well so yeah you're gonna have to wait till the episode comes out um, but yeah let's hear from um, Sai in the Q&A, as well as Conroy, who actually worked at Open Goal Broomhill last season. Open Goal's very own, Simon Ferry.
Then I don't want to hear my voice again, surely. Mate, I was actually nearly in tears up the bank, yeah. Oh, that was a hard watch. First and foremost, I just want to get round the applause for Paul, Rob, Tim and Craig, who made the documentaries. I think they've been unbelievable. I don't know about you, but... Sort of production side being incredible. The support genuinely blew my mind at times. Um, I think we drew Barora Rangers in the first round of the Scottish Cup. I'll be honest, I was expecting in four or five hundred people there to come out. I think I came out after the warm up and looked at. I, I've never seen that at Broadwood. I'd played at Broadwood maybe eight times with Peter Head against Clyde in League One, so at a decent level. Um, so I've never seen Broadwood like that uh, when I came out, and I, I was genuinely blown away. Come on, yeah. You've been on one or two of my videos before. You worked at Open Gold Broomhill last season. Just explain to everybody what you did last season for the club. Um, what did I do? I, what, I came in last minute because right. it was the two days before the game and what I'd done was I'd done social media uh, updates for the game. So just yep. the comms during the game, the lineups, uh, updates during the match and yep. then moved on to like goals and then obviously after match stuff as well, kind of after match report. See you later boys, they're off. See you later, sorry, see you soon mate. And so we spoke a lot at those games. We were sat in the um, sat in the little press box together. What do you think about what they've done and they're all off now and we're like the last ones yeah. here. But what do you think about what they did for low league football in Scotland? I think it was a good thing. I think it, I said it at the time before, I think it's important to get eyes on the league. Yep. And I think they've done that. I feel like you're never gonna have content to that level. I feel like we mentioned before, like yep. down in England, like your all or nothing style documentary. Like yep. It's such a high standard that I don't think you're ever gonna get that. Yep. Um, and I feel like it was important they done that. And I think we just discussed earlier, I think, once this is all out with age, people look back and it'll, it'll age very well yeah. because it's an insight you're, you're not going to get. And I just feel like it's uh, important for Scotland to see that. And yeah. for me, I think it'll age very well. Yeah, look, I've actually got the Open Goal Broomhill kit behind me there. Um, quite an iconic kit, I suppose, that we'll look back on in years and be like, oh, do you remember that? That was good, weren't it? So, um, yeah, really glad I've got one of them. Um, thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Um, do let me know what you thought about Open Goal's involvement in the comments section below. Um, I was actually... Yeah, quite shocked about some of the negativity that went towards them, especially when they um, announced that they were leaving. I can understand why certain fans of certain clubs don't want change, particularly in the lower leagues, but I'm all for innovation in the lower leagues. I think it's good and like this documentary series is like the best football content that is on YouTube but it's got to be up there anyway it's like Amazon and Netflix level quality but on YouTube that you can watch for free the final clip coming up just now um, yeah you're gonna want to watch it through to the end I don't know why it just tickled me especially when I was editing it through and stuff like that so yeah thank you so much for watching and enjoy this last clip right Si um, I was just wondering if there's any plans for next year to keep a spotlight on the Lowland League or Completely just take keep East Coast Pride separate to the open goal stuff. Uh, no, um, like I said, it takes up. Then I realise it takes up so much, uh, so much time. Oof. Is that alright? Is that better? Uh, no, we'll be we'll be coming away for football completely.